We're now beginning a discussion of Poisson regression or log linear regression. And very similar to with logistic regression, we're going to be working on the log scale. That is to say, we're going to be modeling the log rate at which events occur. So we'd like to just remind ourselves again of why we work on the log or natural logarithm scale. So to do so, I'm going to do a few demonstrations. Here, I'm going to create a vector with some rate ratios in it. And let's take a look at those. So you'll recall, one is the null value. The rate of disease for exposed and unexposed is the same. And we've talked about, in some sense, how a rate ratio of two and a rate ratio of a half are similar. If the rate of disease for the exposed is double that of the unexposed, the rate of the unexposed is half of the exposed. And similarly, a rate ratio of five and one-fifth are very much related, as well as 10 and one-tenth. So first, let's quickly just visualize those rate ratios. Here I'm going to plot each of them versus 1, 2, 3 up to 7. Now what I'm doing here is purely just for visualization and discussing the concepts. I'm going to add a vertical line at a rate ratio of 1, the null value. And recall we said the rate ratio of 10 and 1 tenth are very similar in some ways. So let's add in the line of the rate ratio for 10 and the rate ratio for 1 tenth. And now what we see here is the 10, the distance between that and the null value of 1 is really large, and the distance between 1 tenth and the null value is quite small. But in some sense, these distances should be equal. This has the odds 10 times larger. This has the odds 10 times smaller. And let's look at adding in the lines for a rate ratio of 5 and 1 fifth. Okay, and again, the distance from the null value up to 5 and down to 1 fifth is different, although in some sense it should be the same. And here is the rate ratio of 2 and a half. And again, we can see the distance is not the same. Now, let's take a look at these rate ratios, but on the log scale. The log of 1 is now 0, right? That's the null value. And we can see the log of 2 and the log of a half are the same distance from that null value. Similar, the log of 10 and the log of 1 tenth are the same distance from that null value. And let's just visualize that. So now I'm going to plot the log rate ratios versus the numbers 1 to 7. I'm going to add in a line at the null value of log rate ratio of 1, which is 0. And let's add in red lines at the log of 10 and the log of 1 tenth. Right? So the log rate ratio of 10 and the log rate ratio of 1 tenth. We can see now these are the same distance from that null value of log rate ratio of 1, which is 0. 10 times larger, 10 times smaller. Let's add in the lines at log of 5 and log of 1 fifth. Again, we can see those are the same distance from the null value on the log scale. And let's add in the line for log of 2 and log of a half. So we can see since the rate ratio is a measure on a multiplicative scale, working on the log scale now addresses that. It makes the distance between 2 and a half be the same. One more look at how working with a log can take something that's on a multiplicative or an exponential scale and transform it to a linear scale. Here I'm going to create an x variable that's 1, 2, 3, up to 8, and a y variable that's doubling each time, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. Now if we plot x versus y, we can see there's this multiplicative or exponential growth. If we take a look at a plot of x1 versus the log of y, we can now see it's linear. Each time it's doubling. And so the increase is the same on the multiplicative scale. On a linear scale, a doubling has this exponential growth. So that's just a reminder of what working with the log does. And we're going to see as we work with Poisson regression or log linear regression, we're going to be working on the log scale.